Well, Laura Reestein, <laughs> oh, wonderful to meet you. And thank you so much for helping out your friends on a, uh, raising money for somebody. I, I just think that's the most special thing that anybody could do for anybody else in life. I mean, it's easy to love somebody, but if you really love me, can you get me money? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And that's what you're doing. So what happened to this young man and, and, and what are you doing for him? Well, without going into too much detail about what happened to him personally, because the crime was committed on him. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, he oh, was basically, um, and then there have been news stories, actually, that you can see online uh -huh. um, in Tampa. Um, he was basically assaulted by somebody at a restaurant club wow. lounge, uh, and he was put into a coma. And, wow. Jer yeah, and Jeremy is... The nicest guy you'd yeah. ever meet. I mean, he mm. he was a coworker of mine. Mm -hmm. um, I know him. He is a, well. We worked together. Right. Um, you know, back uh, in the old days when I was a TV news reporter, he was an editor, and we actually won an Emmy together. Wow, and cool. um, yeah, and uh, he was he was there for me when mm -hmm. I needed you know help on, on my stories. And when I heard this had happened to him, mm -hmm. and somebody basically put a chokehold on him and. Um, you know, he put him into a coma. Um, yeah, I realized that people wanted to help. He and his wife are the nicest people. Um, his wife actually worked at my daughter's school, coincidentally. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. And we were at their wedding. And, yeah. like, if you think, you just look at their face and they've got, like, these warm, wonderful smiles. They both have these kind eyes. They're really yeah. good people. And when people heard that this had happened to Jeremy, all they could think was, we want to help. Uh, and you don't know how to help. You yeah. know, everybody lives in different parts of the right. country and everybody's doing their own thing and busy with family and career. Well, what made and, you think about Give Forward? I mean, crowdfunding. Well, a friend of mine had mentioned it. She had uh -huh. uh, done something similar for somebody who, nice. who had a son who was in a car accident. And, you know, when these things happen, people aren't thinking about uh -huh. money. You know, exactly, they're just thinking yeah. about, can I get through this? And how yeah. am I going to get through it? And... But the big That's, part of it, I mean, you may even be covered insurance, but, you know, there's a big a lot of expenses in addition to that. Right. Well, when you're talking about people who own their own companies, yeah. um, who have other responsibilities that they mm -hmm. need to take care of, it's not just the medical costs. Mm -hmm. It's everything else keeps going. The bills yeah. keep coming. Right. You know, and I'm a cancer survivor, and I had nursed, helped nurse my dad back to health when he had a heart attack, and I, I kind of saw that... When you're going through a, a life crisis, mm -hmm. the world just keeps on going. Yeah. You know, the, the you still Those bills still come in no matter what happens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, somebody's got to you know take care of the dogs or the mm -hmm. kids. Somebody's got to yeah. take care of meals. You know, somebody's got to pay for the groceries. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine what they were dealing with, mm -hmm. but I knew that a lot of people wanted to help, and you can only you know bake so many cookies and send so many bouquets right. of flowers. At the end of the day. You know, they're, they need to take care of each other and he needs to take yeah. care of his wife, you know, and this was the way to do it. So when I heard about Give Forward, uh, you know, I, had, I remembered a friend had done it. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just, you know, there, I'm sure there's people who are, who know, you know, Jeremy and Isis better. Yeah. I just felt like somebody should get out there and get the ball rolling. And I had already researched it a little bit before and I felt comfortable with Give uh -huh. Forward. So I went, you know, I sent them an email and I said, is it okay if I do this thing? Oh, yeah. And they said, yeah. And it just... So were there any hesitation with them at all? Because sometimes people are embarrassed, you know, feel like it's begging or something like no, that. No, I think they already had such an outpouring, I you know, see. from the community. Look, when something mm -hmm. happens these days, people put a message out on Facebook yes. saying, I'm, I'm going through something. Right. And everybody wants right. to do something. Something. And I think when you send that message saying, okay, you know, what can I do? People don't know what to write back. I mean, I think right. they were savvy enough to realize that this would feel good for people right. to help. Well, no, you're right. I mean, see, to me, I think that what you're doing is empowering other people to feel good by giving. Because giving, it, to me, is the most selfish thing in the world. <laughs> because it feels so good. <laughs> exactly. So you don't believe in altruism. Right. right. So it, 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 you're, you're providing an opportunity for other people to do that. But right. was it difficult to set up that website thing? 
it was super easy. Really? Well, so easy, I started to being a, being a, a little suspicious. You know, I thought, well, are they just going to take everybody's money or what's going on? You know, I, I did a little Googling of yeah. give forward scam, you know, right. give forward, steal the money. I mean, whatever, just no to make kidding. sure. And they do take a percentage, you yeah. know, and I well, think it's yeah. something like 7%, which seemed right. high. And I was a little scared to kind of say that to the family right. at the beginning because it sounded high. Yeah. But I felt like as long as it's legitimate, right. they're dealing with PayPal. They've got credit oh, yeah. card fees, you know, that they have yeah. to deal with 7%, whatever. I mean, right. it is what it is. And it's a good looking yeah. website and it's easy to use. Um, so be it. Yeah. No, that's standard in the industry from what I see. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. And, and so that that's usually not an issue. Um, but it, it just, but it, to me, it takes someone like you who, who just says, yes, somebody's got to do something. And instead of baking cookies, and you said you're a ter terrible cooker <laughs> or baker or whatever. So, well, no, I, I could do the baking okay, but by the time I got around to putting I those see. cookies in the mail, they'd be stale. <laughs> and then I'd send them to the wrong address. And, you know, I, this is a no brainer. You click, and when you have that moment on yeah. Facebook, like, I should do something, you click. And you're done. Wow. And, then, and everybody easy. could do it. And Facebook made it so easy. I mean, wow. it, it. And then they they um they send you an email from Give Forward. Um, you have your personal coach. You know, oh, really? who walks. And were they well, he I helpful? Ah, I don't know. I'm not really. Yeah. Kind of. You know, I would say, take a look at my website. What do you think? And then yeah. they, I'd get sort of a form letter back, which I was see, okay. Right. They'd say, Change make sure the color. to add some pictures. <laughs> Um, uh -huh. you know, here's, you know, the link to get the PayPal thing started, but they did say that you have to post it like six times. Oh. Statistically you have to, yeah, it's like a chain letter, you know, you got to hedge your bets here. And so you have to post it, I think six times and 10 people have to be committed to putting it on their pages I see. for it really to kick off. To get a guy, so. Um, and so I did follow that pretty religiously. Uh -huh. And it kicked off and it was neat. Really? It was right around July 4th. And I would check my, I was staying at this cabin on a lake in Michigan where we had no cell service, no internet. <laughs> I mean, it was so random. There's nothing there. And so I would get in the car and I would drive, you know, the, the, the mile until I got close to the town to get cell service and check. And it was so neat to see the dollars just going up, <laughs> up and up and up. <laughs> and it was neat to see the, you know, to hear from the family that they saw the numbers go up and up. And it's uh, just, you know, like, it's uh, not about the money. It's just about oh, people wanting to do something yes. for them. Well, it's helping somebody, you know, it yeah. can't be anything more important than that. Yeah. You know? And, and but but it takes something inside you, and that's why I say, how do we get other people to realize? You know, there's no magic to this. You just have to do it, right? <laughs> and, and that and that was it. You know, there's a lot of projects I think about, and I'm sure other people do that never come to fruition. Yeah. This thing, this you know, raising money online, crowdsourcing, yeah. it's really easy. I mean, they they make this very simple. All you yeah. really have to do is set it up, and it has to be a cause. Obviously, people yes. want. I mean. I was playing around on there and there's people who have like their plastic surgery funds. Like <laughs> my teeth look funny, you know, help me raise money. And then they, I could see they would write in and say, how come nobody is helping me? You know, these other <laughs> poor me. <laughs> well, some people have real problems, you know, and they really actually need the money more than others. But the point is that, um, people want to help yeah. and it's just completely easy to take yeah. that first step. Um, right. and, and do, do it. it. And then what a way to show love to somebody else too, is by help them with something practical that they really need, as you say, to solve all those daily problems that keep piling up in life and they're stuck. I mean, he's still in a coma or where is he now? Do you know? No, he, he's not. Um, mm. he's actually back home. Um, so, you know, I, right. I guess the word to use is, is improving. Huh. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously, a long road yeah oh yeah. well well good for you for making those bumps a little easier for somebody you know i mean i, I really believe there there's nothing better to do than to help somebody who can't get it done themselves and more people see those problems in front of them and and just try to solve them like you did you know didn't even know anything about it just did it and, and got these people like fifteen thousand dollars already or close to it and 
And I thank you for being a superhero. And I'm going well, to send you a cake. Well, it embarrass you, So but... you know. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you could be a superhero. <laughs> it will embarrass you, but I credit you way back when, you know, in the 1980s, when I would see you on TV and your message was anyone can do it. And, you know, go out there and get money that is rightfully yours. And in yeah. a way, maybe even in this situation, it felt like, they rightfully Absolutely. needed they needed a break. They Absolutely. needed some money to help empower them in this difficult time in their lives. And so I give a shout out to you. <laughs> well, I, I take the hug. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> for getting that message out there from the get-go. That there's money out there for those who need it. You bet. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> and I wish you and your family very well. Talk to you soon. <laughs>